McNeil is one of the few growers willing to speak with us. He's getting out of the industry. This year's crop will be the family's last. Why is the profit not there? We're reliant now on, on two major supermarkets, really, to buy all of our fruit. We're at the mercy of them. At this rate, there might not be any farmers left. Every year, they're forced to throw out 2.4 billion kilos of fruit and veg because of the supermarket's crazy standards, and it's driving them to bankruptcy. Meanwhile, supermarkets are swimming in profits, just like this story shared recently by Four Corners. Towards the end of that season, Cuniel sent 15 tonnes of cherries to be sold at Coles, an entire semi-trailer load. He hoped to receive around $90,000 for his biggest shipment of the year, which had been carefully graded to meet Coles' specifications. Instead, he was told the fruit was not up to standard, and he was only able to get $5,800. We hear similar stories from our suppliers, but standing up to big supermarkets is challenging because they control over 80% of the market. Our farmers are quitting the industry, with very few young farmers joining the ranks, with the average age now 63, because who wants to get bullied, paid poorly, and have your food and hard work thrown into landfill? At Farmers Pick, we're working directly with Aussie farmers to build a fairer pricing practice and to pay our farmers for what they deserve. If you're sick of seeing the supermarkets treat our Aussie farmers unfairly, then try Farmers Pick box today and support our Aussie farmers directly.